Hi, uh, my name is Bo, and I am the only luthier at Bo Hannum Guitars. Uh, and in this video, I wanted to show you how I shape frets before I put them in, and just a quick little um, show and tell about how I clean out the fret slots, which um, shouldn't come as any surprise to how I do it. There's no secrets here. Um, if you like this channel and Luthier Tips, uh, do subscribe to the channel. It uh, helps in numerous ways. Um, so, I'll just show the tools as I go along, so I don't have to refocus every five seconds. <laughs> um, so, the fret slots are pretty clean. I come in with this sort of hook tool from Stumac and clean them out. You can kind of curl the, the edges away and uh, it gets all the crud out of the little corners, glue and bits, pieces like that. Another Stumac tool helps to clean out the bottoms of the fret slots a little bit and to to deepen them a little bit more if you've put a radius on the fretboard or something like that. Um, so I've pre-cut all my frets. I just cut them all at once. This is a flat fretboard. And I've cut these pretty close to what they should finally be. Um, so what I do first is a, this is a bound fretboard, which, uh, adds about, uh, probably four or five times the amount of time spent on, uh, fretting and shaping, especially the way I shape frets, which is with a semi-hemispherical fret end. So, I'm just going to come in here and knock the tang off. And that's looking good. And then I will do the same with the other end of the fret. And I'm just seating the the tang, this tang length to match the fret slot length minus a little bit of length. I usually have about half a mil on either end of a gap. So that is looking good. Try to show this. That makes sense. Every time I move the camera, I have to manually refocus it, which is just a delight. Um, so this edge is almost on the edge of the fingerboard. So I'm going to shape this end first and then come back and do this one. So I'll show you now how I shape the fret ends. This is your fret ends will be filing that 
underneath part off in a second. But at the moment they're square. The front ends are square. And we want to round them over. So I come in with my more coarse file and then so if you look at if you look at that you can see that it's round but that has a lot of curves and facets on it curves being a multitude of facets of course um, if you look at the back of it, or from the back, um, that's just a flat surface this way. And it's much easier to see if that's a round, a nice round shape. It's a little bit wobbly, but it's pretty good. And I can clean that up with the next file, which is my diamond file. see that's the shape from the front and from the back you can see it a bit clearer I'm trying to focus this as best I can and you can it's easy to see from the back that it is a clear nice curve so from there, once that's done, I just come in and actually I should show you this first. So you can see the the back of this fret has some tang still on it, so we will have to get that off. Sorry that you can't see, it doesn't really matter. Now that is clean. Okay, so what I do now is fit the that finished end. Right end to the treble side and then cut the so we're gonna push that curved end right up to the edge. And then trim off the excess here. And then do the same on this end as you did on that end. And then that is um, one fret done. And then you have to do 18 more. <laughs> um, if this wasn't bound, you would just lay a piece of fret wire over over it 
hammer it in and then clip off each end. So obviously this is why this type of um, bound fingerboard and the shaped fret ends uh, is a yeah, you know, a sign of it's not necessarily a high quality instrument, it's just more time has gone into the fretting. Um, it's just another it's a, a piece that you see on higher end instruments because factories just aren't gonna do this. Um, the other way to do it is you just shape the or get the the tang correct to sit in the slot and then you have the overhang of the fret, snip it off and then just bevel it um, factory style at like a 35 or whatever it is degree angle. And I did that for ages, <clears throat> as in about 10 years, but um, this way it's just a much more professional look. Um, it's a higher end look. It just shows that care has gone into um, every fret end. And you know, it's you've got 19 frets and you might stuff up one or two. So that's, you know, 40 times you're shaping a fret end. You know, that's a lot of time and a lot of care. And that's where you pay. That's why my base price is $4,000. So we'll do this one more time. 